I am Vinod. I am showing a small demo of my weekend project, it is a QI wireless power receiver from scratch using discrete component along with a general purpose AT Tiny 13 microcontroller. At first I am testing it with an incandescent bulb connected at the DC output of my receiver. The bulb is continuously glowing, which means, my receiver is able to acknowledge the transmitter by sending ping response packet via the same RX coil by backscatter modulation. Now I connected my mobile phone to my QI receiver. It is getting charger with approximately 1 ampere of current at 5 volt. Implemented a Qi compatible receiver by following some open documents from the Wireless Power Consortium website, the authority which regulates, standardize, and maintain the wireless power transfer protocol, which explains about the required resonance frequency, receiver communication protocols, modulation, and line encoding schemes, the packet structure, various packets like periodic error correction packet, received power indication packet, ping response packet etc etc. Luckily my bare minimum setup to receive continuous power from a Qi compatible transmitter worked in the first attempt itself. I used an 8-bit 8 tiny 13 a microcontroller for this purpose. Resonance is always a magical phenomenon in the world of physics and the same in radio receivers and similarly in wireless power receivers as well. The transmitter periodically pings short amount of power on air via alternating magnetic field, basically looking for a receiver. The receiver picks the energy using a near resonance LC circuit, tuned for 100 kHz, rectifies it to DC and the microcontroller on the receiver respond to the ping by sending back message through the same receiver coil by backscatter modulation which enables the transmitter to acknowledge the receiver and continuously transmit power. The receiver continuously sends feedback to transmitter in terms of error packets and received power which demands the transmitter to increase or decrease the power transmitted and the transmitter accordingly adjust the frequency towards or away from resonance respectively. Both transmitter and receiver is based on series LC resonance. Single chip receiver solutions are already available from various major semiconductor manufacturers. Just due to curiosity I attempted this with discrete components and this is nowhere comparable to dedicate single chip solutions.